Good afternoon, it's January 31st, last day of January, and this is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton, joined by Dan Bingham and Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Dan, let's start with you this week. Uh, a lot of news influencing interest rates globally, uh, generally in a downward trend. What do we see? Uh, sure. So this week we saw the uh, much anticipated Fed uh, leaving rates uh, as anticipated at the 150 to 175 rate. Um, and that, along with the election news, really took a back seat to the uh, coronavirus and the fears surrounding that. Um, with that, we saw a pretty strong rally in the Treasury market with 10-year rates dropping to a uh, 153 uh, and 30-year rates dropping to a 2%, just bre mm. uh, breaking through the 2% uh, level as uh, Friday uh, uh, was underway. Um, with that, we saw an underperformance in the muni market as absolute rates are starting to cause some uh, demand uh, shortage uh, with uh, traditional muni investors. Well, we're still seeing a lot of cash inflows into munis. Lipper reported earlier this week, I think it was $1.85 billion of inflows. I think that's the 56th consecutive week of inflows to muni mutual funds. Um, we also had the bond buyer uh, national outlook conference where uh, those, those cash flows were highlighted as uh, the real drivers behind uh, the technical widening of uh, spreads between treasuries and munis in the market. So that's uh, still a, a strong story for muni issuers. Yeah, I mean, it sure is. We had uh, at the end of the, or beginning of the fourth quarter, actually, ratios were cheap. They rallied all throughout the fourth quarter. Now we're getting like, a little bit of a kind of a mid range back, which uh, is healthy for the market. So uh, turning over to the, the new issue market, uh, what did we see uh, come to market last week? So I think we uh, came in right around $7 billion for this week, which is uh, what everyone was expected. Uh, next week is supposed to be slightly higher, I think $7.4 billion. Uh, and we had a good week. Business-wise, we did uh, the headline deal was this Penn Hills, Pennsylvania school district deal, uh, $100 million. Benning Scat and Scattergood did that deal. Uh, it was well received in the market. There were 10 institutional buyers on that deal. Uh, ended up getting repriced to lower yields. So, and Howard Sumberg, uh, who underwrote that transaction, did a Credit Insights video for more information about the uh, underlying credit of that transaction. You can view it on our page. Um, and then away from that, we did a total of $270 million for the week. Made a good chunk of secondary business. Uh, Dan has already started to chip in uh, uh, there, so uh, we're very excited about that and looking forward to next week. Next week, you know, at least uh, more than $100 million of BAM insured transactions. Right. Uh, what, uh, what stands out? Um, I think the uh, Jasper, Alabama uh, is um, a Raymond James deal that's, um, that's on the calendar, and then uh, there's, uh, we're working with a few other issuers, I think, that have not yet decided on, on the their issue. timing. Yeah. And the Jasper transaction, actually, uh, five years ago, was one of our first BAM Credit Insights videos. You can see the link to the, uh, to the uh, original video by Alexis Plattis. Uh, that's uh, refinancing bonds that were sold to build a new high school in the city of Jasper, which is now up and running. So it's a good uh, BAM member success story. <laughs> And from Jasper, Alabama, we'll stay in the southeast. All focus will be on Miami on Sunday night uh, for the Super Bowl. Do you have any predictions? Being a giant fan, I'm not, uh, I'm not really looking uh, forward to the Super Bowl as much as I wish, but uh, I'm going with the Chiefs. Uh, I agree. Uh, Sean, Sean McCarthy's taking the other side, but I'm, I'm with the Chiefs also. <laughs> as a giant fan, I'll stand up for Kyle Shanahan and his uh, industry up here, and I'll go with the Niners just to be, uh, take the other side. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see you next week. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A, guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes. Double A, guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything, from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM. 